Happy Saturday, everyone. It's a uh, Mother's Day weekend, so I hope that everyone is out having a fantastic Mother's Day, uh, getting to do things that you mm -hmm. love for a change instead of stuff everyone else in your family wants to do. So as you can tell, I hear a little bit of moaning in the background. I have got my uh, my sleepover guest for the weekend. I have got Mr. Griffin, so hopefully he makes a little appearance. He's uh, He just likes to go in and out, in and out, in and out. I left the door open for him because it's not buggy here yet. But he likes to be here to let me know that he wants me to be outside with him. But I want to get this done. Um, I got my stitch fix in yesterday and I did not open it until this morning. I haven't uh, done a real peeking yet, but I did poke my head in and look at the colors that are in here. So it looks really interesting. Uh, so anyway, for stitch fix, I'm going to get this awesome box from your mailman. Inside, it's going to tell you everything you need to do next going to have your wrapped bum bundle in here you're going to have your prepaid mailer in case you need to send anything back if you didn't want to keep it or if you need to exchange it for a different size so shipping to and from is always free and that is uh, awesome that you can do that and if you are not familiar with Stitch Fix, I'll just give a little quick thing, but I will have more in my description below. And Stitch Fix and some of these clothing subscriptions, they are like the best um, the best items since sliced bread. Um, if you are like me and you really don't feel comfortable going into stores by yourself, you have panic attacks, you have sciatica pain, or it's just too far for you to get to a nice store, um, having it come to your house is awesome. Um, you go online you pick up I'm just petting Griffin so kind of that uh, I lost my train of thought so um, anyway you go online you're gonna quick fill out a quick questionnaire about your style your sizes uh, your different clothes items that you like if you say you like low-cut things you can request it if you want all turtlenecks you can request it if you want to show off your arms or your back just anything you can think of you you can put down in your stylist note for your stylist uh, you'll be matched with a stylist I have been lucky enough to get Jen from the beginning she has done an awesome job and she will pick out a box of five items for you there is a $20 styling fee um, which is going to be applied to anything that you purchase if you buy all five items in the box you get a 25% discount and my referral link will also be in the description box below so if you do use my referral link you not only get that $20 styling fee waived you get a $25 credit to apply towards anything in your box and then I would get a $25 credit as well so it's kind of like a win-win situation and even if you're on the fence you're thinking about stitch fix it's a perfect time to do it where you do get the styling fee waived and the $25 waived off anything that you purchase if you get a box that you don't like anything you've got nothing to lose you just put it all back in that little bag and send it on its way um, and again if you don't use my link if you've been maybe loyal to some other um, youtubers from the beginning using their link is going to help them get an extra credit and it's given you credit so it's just an awesome way to do it so first let's get into the box so I did ask and I've never had one of these before but I did ask for a bralette to just uh, kind of try them out so I picked a, out a black one and it's just sometimes the necklines are like over here um, so it's just a way for me probably I wouldn't wear it as my sole bra not that I'm big but I need the padding um, so it would just kind of cover up my bra straps and then if I have something open in the back I'll have you know a little bit of lace detail so excited to try that and my bundle out you're also going to get this envelope your stylist thought these would look great on you you want to get this uh, style card that says oh hello and take a peek inside and in the C style cards are really amazing. They help you decide if you're like me and your style challenge. They give you an idea of the items that are in, in the box already and how different ways that you can style it. You're also going to get your stylist note. So I'll just kind of breeze over this quick and just give a quick highlight. So it says your style delivered. Hey Nancy, I was so excited to see your name pop up into my queue this morning. I was at a team styling event recently for work and I was asked who was my favorite client to style for with during my four years with the company. Your name was the first one that popped into my mind. That is so cute, even if it's not true. 
it's really just cute and the stylist note it just makes you know that uh, someone's it's an actual person that's styling you and it just kind of makes you feel good so your name was the first one that popped into my mind so funny that I'm styling you the very same week thank you for your request I did my best to fulfill your wishes although I couldn't find everything on your wish list I did make notes to your profile to add those styles to your boxes when I see them. I found a blush color denim jacket that will be such fun layering piece for spring and summer. And check out this white blazer. It's perfect for dressing up jeans, layering over a dress or with a nice pair of slacks. The linen fabric will also help you beat the heat this summer. Enjoy XO Gem. So it's just really nice to add a personal note in here. Um, and again, if you request something, they're not always going to find it. And sometimes you'll see something on another YouTube channel and you're like, oh, I love that. I got to have it. But by the time you've maybe just got your box and by the time you get that in, that might already be out of stock or just not available in your size. But it's nice that your stylist takes notes of it and she will keep an eye out for them. Next, you are going to have your invoice. It's going to list everything that's in your box and um, this is my fix number 18 so that is exciting and for my bundle so I can see I got uh, that's that pink denim that must be the white linen blazer and some other items and one of the things I did ask for on the blazer I got a French mob blazer that was like a tunic length it was rounded in the front just an awesome length so I did ask if they had that in another color I would love it I asked for a maxi dress that didn't make me look like a hobbit because my mother always said that I couldn't wear maxi skirts and maxi dresses because I was big and fat and I looked like a hobbit. So if she could find one that didn't make me look like that, I would be very much interested in it. And I think I asked for some green denim jeans. Uh, didn't have to be the same uh, brand that I had in a previous fix, but if she could uh, find another one, that would be great. So it's nice that she is keeping an eye out for them. And this next uh, first item that I am looking at says it's a Stitch Fix exclusive, but it is cut from the cloth. So maybe just this particular one it is a very sheer and it is bright red. It's coming out kind of like more like cranberry on my screen, but it looks like there's some blues in there. Different shades of red. It is rounded. It's got a rounded hemline. Not sure if it's a high-low, maybe not. It has got the tabbed sleeves that you can unbutton because I would rather just uh, have a long sleeve. It is a button down top, but it doesn't look like it's uh, gonna be tight. So I think this is gonna be flowy enough that I will not, or I should not have any gapping or anything like that. So it's very nice lightweight for summer. So that looks interesting to try. And I am loving this one already. I hope it fits, I hope it fits, I hope it fits, I hope it fits. So, Anyway, this is by Calvin Klein, and it's called a Calvin Klein Soup Separates. It's a Janice pleated neck knit top. So it's a nice, nice weight. It is kind of stretchy. It's got that kind of like a snake print. So I need snake print shoes. Hoping this fits. I think this is going to go really nice with some nice dark jeans, uh, maybe some white jeans. So I am very excited to try this on. Alrighty, next we, and this must be the maxi dress. If I can find the beginning or the neckline to be able to hold it up. And it's by Lavapella, and I have never got a maxi dress from Lavapella. I think I had someone that I was in high school, but I think I probably wore it once and threw it out because my mother said I looked like a hobbit. So this is called the Tory Knit Maxi Dress. It's navy, and it's a large petite. And not that I'm petite, but some people may say I am vertically challenged. So this should help me not trip because I sometimes I'm just walking and I don't trip over anything. I just, boom, I go down for no reason. have no idea why. Could be in flats, could be in heels, could be in a short dress, could be in pants. I don't trip on anything. I just, sometimes I just fall for no reason. So it does look like a mat, a, a wrap in the front. It's got some elastic around the waistline. It is a deep, deep navy, even though it's coming up kind of bright. There's some nice red roses or carnations in here with some white, some touches of green. So this looks like it's very pretty. Please let me know if I do look like a hobbit in it, and I will know that my mother told me the truth all these years. Or maybe at the time it looked like a hobbit. 
maybe I, I don't look like one now. So this is the Linen Blazer, and it's from Skies of Blue. And again, it's just a lightweight blazer. It looks like the three-quarter sleeves. Got a little slit right there. It isn't lined, but it does look like uh, some parts of it are tacked down. You can see in the inside of the seam. Well, maybe you can't see. Is that showing up for the, the different stitching or piping or whatever? It's piping that kind of goes over the seam so it doesn't fray. So excited to try this. I usually do like um, blazers that are, are lined so that they stay put, but I think this one is tapped in a few places, so I think that this should work. Looks like a nice length, so that should be nice. And the last item is from Liverpool, and it is the uh, a nice light pink denim jacket, which I did get a, a dusty rose or something on. I forgot if it was from Cut from the Cloth or Liverpool from Mix and Match a couple of boxes ago. But I will try this on for you because I just like denim, denim jackets. And they just look really nice if you've got a, you know, and it will probably go with that navy dress too. Just a, when you want to go to wear it to work, but you don't want to look like you're really being overdressed. But you want something to look nice and casual. And I think the denim jackets uh, do a really nice job with the dresses. So anyway, I got some really cool items in this box. I'm really excited to try them on for you. So I will be right back and we will chat soon so i have the first item on i've got this cut from the cloths it's uh the sinclair button down top um, in red and it, it is a size large it is very sheer i didn't put a cami on under it but because it is so sheer and the material it's very clingy so you would need to wear a tank or a camisole under it i think it is very pretty i just paired it with some white jeans for now uh, button down the shoulders are right here so I think um, if I were to keep it then maybe I need a medium but I'm not really positive how a medium would fit if I would have the gapping right there and a medium um, it does have a front pocket right here and again it is very whoops but I stepped on Griffin's tail but it is a very very pretty it's a nice lightweight for summer I think even with a nice camisole under it it would still be a nice weight for summer so let me know your thoughts on that and I will be right back. And I'm back. I've got two items on. I have the Skies of Blue, the Ava uh, Linen Blazer, and the Calvin Klein uh, Suit Separate Top. Loving the top. The blazer, I think it does have a nice fit. It's linen, uh, like half rayon, half linen, and a little bit of spandex. So as you can see, it does stretch. It isn't lined. It is tacked down in a few places. But as you can see right around here where I really like it tailored, it's just going to stick and keep undoing. Uh, the sleeves are tacked down. It's three quarter sleeves. And it's got that little slit detail right there. And then this sleeve, it's like a little off centered. So this is tacked down. So even if I iron it, I don't know if you can see that part where it's uh, just not, not lined up. So even if I were to iron it down because it's tacked there, I would think it would keep falling down. I think the shoulders probably are a little bit, but I think that would still give me room if I wanted to wear a sweater under it. It's just gonna drive me crazy that this is gonna keep sticking to my top and just, uh, you know, then I think it kind of looks a little messy. The pockets are real, they're stitched down, but it is nice to have real pockets. It's a nice weight. I think it, even though it's kind of like a little off-white, I think it's combined with white jeans to make it look like you're wearing a suit, or you could wear it with anything you wanted to. So, I like the concept, but I, I will hold out for one that I think has a better fit on me. And the Griffin's back, and this is the top. Loving this top. This is a large, but I think it fits well enough. Um, I still have bat wings because I guess I'm always going to have bat wings right there. But I don't think the armholes are that big that anything shows too much. It is a nice length, and I think if I size down, I'm going to lose lose it in the length again. So I would rather keep this one. Loving the length. I think I'm going to love this with some black pants. Or maybe gray. Maybe it would go with my gray jeans. I don't know. But um, I'm liking it with the white jeans as well. 
just got some heels on that kind of have a maybe the snake print in the back don't know if I'm keeping these yet or not I just uh, need some help walking in them so again this is uh, the Calvin Klein top it's got a little button loop right there a little keyhole opening it's a nice stretchy material so I think I'm good in the large let me know if you think uh, a medium would fit me a little bit longer but I am thinking that for now it, it fits so anyway I will be right back with uh, the next outfit and I have on the last two items so I have got on the Liverpool this is a tenna uh, jean jacket it's a size large in blush and then I have on this love Appella, uh, kind of like a wrap dress right here in front or that surplus or whatever they call it uh, in large navy so in a petite so anyway it, I've got three inch heels on with this and that's about the maximum heel I can wear and I think it's just probably grazing the floor um, if I wanted to wear it with a flat I would have to definitely have it hemmed it, it's nice and soft it just feels like a nice pajama nice way it's going to be comfortable and the jacket so it is a probably not showing up too great on camera but it is a blush shade your standard jean jacket it is really similar to the one I got from mix and match a couple of boxes ago it's like just a shade or, or two different and I think this one is probably a little bit too bulky on me so let's compare and see the one I got from Mix and Match is a medium. And I thought I would really like the pink with this, but I'm not really sure. So I put on a pink necklace to have it go together. I think the medium is a much better fit. So I probably would not get the one this time because I've already got one in pretty much a similar color. I think it does go, the color does go really nice with the dress. Or let me know your thoughts and if I should wear it maybe with a regular jean jacket like a cropped a cropped length or should I keep my eye out for maybe a white cropped jean jacket maybe that would be the perfect match so this is just my one from Amazon so I've got the raw hedge raw not hedge for the hemline it is more of the crop length which I think is sometimes a little bit more flattering with the dresses so let me know your thoughts on which jacket goes best if I should stick to the pink one that I have this or should I ask my stylist to start looking for maybe a white cropped jacket alrighty and this is the dress by Lavatella got these little flounced sleeves does wrap in the front I think it's probably a little too big on top it kind of when I first looked at it I thought wow that's a deep hem line but it's just the inside of the ruffle that's that's showing there nothing else is showing it does have elastic there at the waist and it's probably a little bit above my natural waist which isn't bad I think the length goes good with these these shoes it is a little bit of pink sticking out let me know if you think I look like a hobbit please but other than that I'm, I mean the shoulders fit really nice um, I like the length like I said I'd, I'd probably wear it with heels anyway I just don't know if I should size down so maybe it'll fit a little different across the chest because you know I don't have too much of one and again I could always pin it I do have some that two-sided tape that I haven't used yet or I could put a snap there so I'm or I could always wear a camisole with a little bit of lace there so let me know your thoughts on make this and let's go over everything while I'm standing right here alrighty so first we have this cut from the cloth I'm gonna get my invoice here so I've got the cut from the cloth it's the Sinclair button-down blouse it does have the tab sleeves but as you can see on the tab and I probably didn't show it on the try on you know it's just such a lightweight material that it's not going to be able to fold and stay up but I prefer to leave it down anyway I think it was a little big in the shoulders I did not have any gapping in the front 
but I don't know if I size down to get it to fit more in the shoulders, if I would get that gapping. Um, I think it looked really nice with the, uh, the white jeans. Um, I did have a little bit of static in here because it is such a, a really nice lightweight material, but I think wearing a camisole or a tank under it, it wouldn't have that static cling and it wouldn't be so see-through. So again, there's this and it is $68. Next, uh, we have this cut from, cut from the box, this Calvin Klein. And this is the, um, the suit separates. It's the Janice pleated. It's off-white. This is a size large. This is only $38. Got that little button right there, little gold button, little keyhole in the back. Love this print. Got a little pleated detail right there, so it does kind of give you a little bit of shape in front. Love this top. I think this would look great with a black blazer, uh, with black jeans or black slacks. I think it looked nice with the white jeans. I think it did look nice with the white jacket, but um, I don't think the jacket's for me. I think the armholes did fit great on me. Um, even though it's a large, I'm thinking I should keep it because I like the way it fit. I like the length. It wasn't too tight, unless you think I would get more use out of it going to a medium. And again, $38. I think that is great. I bought some Calvin Klein tops, just um, not this pattern, but this style at Macy's, and I paid like $97. So, Griffin's excited about something. Again, I love this top. Next, we have the Skies of Blue. And this is like half, half rayon, half linda, half linen half rayon and then like 2% spandex. So it does have some stretch to it. Um, it is tacked down in like a few places, but not tacked down around here where I don't like it. So that as you're wearing it during the day, it just kind of folds over. And I think that kind of, you know, it's just not, not me. I would rather have something tailored a bit better. I do like that detail on the three quarter sleeves that you get that little slip right there. And one of the sleeves is perfect. And the sleeves are lined, by the way. And this one is just, um, I don't know if you can see that, where it's just not in the right spot. And if you iron it up, I don't know if it would stay. But again, because this is just going to stick, I don't think I would be keeping it. And this is white. It's a size large, and it's $78. Next, we have this Lovapella, the Tory Knit Maxi Dress. This is a size large, petite. Glad she went to a, to a petite because a regular would have just probably been too long. This is only $78. I think it's a great price. I love the softness of the material. I like the length with my shoes. I'm just concerned if I should size down, not for this area or anything, but just to get it a little smaller up in here for me. And last was the Liverpool jacket. Sorry, I didn't put this on a hanger. And this is the Tema denim jacket. And if I didn't have the other one, I would definitely keep this one. I would probably size down to a medium. But like I said, if I didn't have the other one, I would definitely get this one. Loving the color of the, the blush. I think it would go good with my blush shoes at the bottom. But for that reason, because I've got one so similar, I wouldn't be keeping it. And this is $88. So for a jean jacket, a quality jean jacket, I think that's a great price. So all together, my box was $350. My buy all discount would be $87.50, which would make my total $262.50. And I do have that styling pass, so I don't have about that $20 discount. Um, and if I kept that bralette, the bralette's $20, which isn't a bad price. The total for everything would be $282.50. So again, looking for your help to let me know what looked okay on me, what is worth keeping. Let me know your thoughts on this, if it does make me look like a hobbit, and um, if I should ask for more. And definitely, if I do get another maxi dress, I would probably have to get that medium. Uh, not a medium, but the uh, petite length. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic Mother's Day. I wish Griffin came back in the room to say Happy Mother's Day to you guys too, and go out and have a wonderful day. We'll chat again soon, everyone. Bye-bye.